Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV. A station whereby we are going to interact and also learn together. We are going to have our mathematics form 1, lesson 2, whereby your tutor will be me, Mr. Gerald. Um, we are going to unlock the topic on our rate, ratio, proportion, and percentage. Uh, before that, we are going to have the following lesson objective, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to solve problems involving rates. Welcome. We are going now to start uh, with the subtopic on the rates, uh, whereby our first example, uh, we are told a laborer's wage is 240 shillings per 8 um, hour working day. What is the rate of payment per hour? Um, repeating the question you are being told, a laborer's wage is 240 shillings per 8 hour working day. What is the rate of payment per hour? Let us solve the following uh, a problem whereby rate will be given by amount of payment of a number of days. Uh, so uh, the amount of payment is uh, 240, uh, the number of days are 8. So uh, in short here you are just going to, to divide. So when you divide 240 divided by 8, you are going to, the, uh, to get 30 shillings. So that is to mean in one hour the laborer is being paid 30 shillings. Uh, we are still continuing with on rates whereby uh, um, we can say a rate is a way of comparing one quantity with another of different kinds. For example, you can have the following question. Uh, what is the rate of consumption per day in 12 bags of beans are consumed in 120 days? What is the rate of consumption per day if 12 bags of beans are consumed in 120, um, 120 days? So that one uh, we are required to solve. Here we are normally we are just going to get 120 you divide by um, 12 so that you to get in a day actually they are consuming uh, 10 bucks so we are only getting 120 you divide by 12. Uh, we are now going to unlock the subtopic on the ratios whereby a ratio is a way of comparing two similar quantities for example when you are being told Ali is 10 years old and his brother Bashir is 14 years old so we are going to compare the two ratios whereby for Ali uh, we are going to compare the ratio of Ali is to Bashir. So that is to mean 10 is to 14. When you are, while when you are comparing Bashir, uh, Bashir's age to Ali, it is 14 is to 10. We can have the above uh, information as a fraction whereby uh, Ali is to Bashir, we are saying this is 10 is to 14. You can divide both sides by the number, both the numerator and the denominator by 2, whereby we are going to get 5 over 7. So uh, in terms of fraction, the Bashir age to Ali's age is 7 is to Five. and Ali's age to Bashir's age is 5 is to 7. We are now going to look something on proportion uh, whereby we can see that this is a process of comparing two or more ratios. For example, we can have the ratio of A is to B is to C and uh, is, equals, uh, to, uh, is equals to 2 is to 3 is to 5. This means that A is to B is to C are proportional to 2, 3, and 5. So that is to mean A is represented by 2, 3 is represented uh, by B, and C is represented by 5. Similarly, A is to B, uh, we are going to get 2 is to 3 in terms of uh, ratio because uh, A is being represented by 2, while B is being represented by 3. And also, you can also uh, be asked the ratio of B to C. So we are going to say it is 3 is to 5, and also S to C, you can say it is. 2 is to 5. So you normally just check their representative ratios. Uh, for example, you can be told if A is to B is 3 is to 4 and B is to C is given by 5 is to 7. You are required to find the ratio of A is to C. Remember, you are not being given the ratio of A is to C direct. So that is uh, you have to calculate it. So in our calculations, what you normally do, you arrange it in ratio form where you take a is to B and we are given um, A is to B is 3 is to 4 and also to C but remember our C are not given so here we are being given A is to B and B is to C so and we don't have uh, the ratio of C in the first uh, in our first case so what you normally do you get a common factor whereby you are going to multiply with so for the A we are multiplying with 5 to get 15 and uh, Remember what we have done here, we have gotten the LCM of both 4 and 5 because it is a common uh, ratio that we are being uh, given. So we have gotten the ratio of 4 is to 5 is 20. So we get a common factor of uh, A, that is uh, 5, we, uh, that is 3 multiplied by 5 to get 15, 
and 7 we multiply by 4 uh, this 4 remember we have gotten we have the ratio of b so we are going to get 4 we multiply by 7 to get 28 and we get 5 because already these ones are given we go we multiply by 3 to get 15 so the uh, our ratio will be 15 is to 20 is to 28 and then now from there we take the ratio of a is to c so we get the representative ratios uh integers that is 15 is to 28. having uh done and said that we can have the following activity whereby you are required to find x when uh, the ratio is 2 is to 3 is equals to x is to 9. So we are required to find the, uh, the value of x. Uh, to get um, more information of this lesson, you can refer to K and B, Secondary uh, Biology, uh, Students Book 1, and also to get more uh, for this and many more, you can contact us by sending us an, an SMS through the number that is on our screen, or you can um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is the Limu TV. Or our Facebook page, which is also Elimu TV, or you tweet us at Elimu TV underscore KH. And let us subscribe to all this channel, and we shall enjoy more of our mathematics from one lessons. Thank you.